Hello, this is Julian with Coffee Reviews, and today we will be reviewing the Worka Sakaro Wash Process Ethiopia from Hart Coffee Roasters. And there's the cup right there. And Hart, based out of Portland, Oregon, and they're a coffee roaster that somehow we haven't featured much on this channel, and there's not necessarily a good reason for that, as I think, get being in the Pacific Northwest, it's really easy for us to get our hands on their coffee, and as a result, I don't necessarily go out of my way to review too many of their coffees. But with that being said, they are one of my favorite roasters in the entirety of the Pacific Northwest, and I know quite a few people who would label Hart as their favorite coffee roaster in the entire world, so they're definitely a favorite of so many people, and this is a great opportunity for me to finally discuss at least one one of their coffees a little further in depth. And for anybody that's not too familiar with Hart or their cafes, they are on the lighter side of that light medium spectrum. Most people would call them a light medium American, but they're a little less developed than most other light mediums in the United States. And then their cafes work like this. They have three of them. There's the Burnside, the Woodstock, and the West Side location. And I've been to the West Side location numerous times. They actually moved once and I went to the old location thinking that it was still there and the people looked at me weird dumb anecdote, but a true story. Uh, the Burnside location, though, that's the first location I ever went to. It's the location I'm outside of right now, and I still remember it like it was yesterday. Drizzly Pacific Northwest kind of day, and uh, got a cup of coffee. Really enjoyed it back then, and I still very much enjoy their coffee to this day. Yeah, we're here to talk about this Ethiopia specifically, so let's go ahead and start discussing it. Now, if I remember correctly, the flavor notes I think they had listed on here was jasmine, uh, what was it, bergamot, and uh, raspberry. And yeah, it's definitely very floral. So here's what I want to say about Hart's Coffee specifically. I learned flowers, how to taste flowers because of Hart's Coffees. They do the most floral cups of coffee I've had from any coffee roaster in the entire world. So anytime I go into a Hart Coffee drinking in Ethiopia, I know it's going to be a very floral experience and you'll see that demonstrated very clearly in the tasting wheel. So I would definitely say that Jasmine note that they have listed on here, yeah, it's that kind of purple floral, very much dominant, very much present throughout this cup. Now the other things that they had mentioned here, the... Uh, bergamot. It's a pretty citric cup of coffee. It's become a lot more abundantly citric as it had cooled down. And those berries, yeah, but they're on a sweeter side. So I'm more used to kind of more tart berries. That's more modern coffee approach as opposed to the sweeter berries, which is very much present in this cup of coffee. But in addition to that, there's a wonderful bit of the kind of caramel sweetness, which has been kind of fun given that a lot of the cup, cups of coffee I've had in Portland so far have kind of been that way. So all of this will be represented in the tasting wheel. So let's go ahead and put up that tasting wheel. And again, created the tasting wheel before we started this recording. So I have my notes right here in my Brandywine book. Let's go ahead and take a look. And uh, two level fives, I didn't necessarily need to look at that part, but yeah, very clean cup of coffee. They have some of the cleanest coffees I've had specifically for their Ethiopias and the florals at a level five. As mentioned, they have the most floral cups of coffee out of any coffee roaster I've had in the entire world. So this is abundantly floral, very much present. I think both of those are definitely justified at that level five. Uh, let's see here, sweetness level four. Yeah, pretty sweet. Kind of mentioned that uh, it's kind of a like candied citrus. I know they have bergamot listed on here, but I would be more likely to align it with like a uh, candied orange as a whole. That's what it reminds me of more. There's a fair bit of lime, so the bergamot does make a fair bit of sense if you're kind of wanting to couple both of those citric notes together. But I think that they're distinct enough to separate them that you might be able to toss all four of those notes onto the bag. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Um, berry fruit, citrus fruit, caramel, level three, as well as the finish. So I did say that there was this kind of candied sweetness to it, and that's why the caramel is as high as it is. But the berry, as mentioned, it's not quite as pronounced as the florals in this cup of coffee. It's very much present, as well as the citrus, two distinct different kinds of citruses in this cup of coffee. So yeah, fair bit on those. But as you can see, there are a lot of level ones. Very slight acidity, very slight stone fruit, and then three for the finish. So it has a very clean finish. And as a result, it's not the most lasting or distinct finish, but as a result, you're getting a very you know, clear, easy to detect flavor profile in this cup of coffee. All right, overall thoughts and impressions of this coffee. So it's pretty positive, but that's not really surprising. I've always loved Hearts Ethiopias. They have some of my favorite Ethiopias out of any coffee roaster. I think the only issue I have is I really wish that they had one of their really rosy Ethiopias because I've had so many Ethiopias from Hearts that just taste clear rose as possible, the clearest rose I've ever had from any coffee, and I really love when their coffees are that way. So it's not necessarily my favorite Ethiopia from Heart, but it's one of those classic, super clean, super floral Heart cups of coffee that I very much enjoyed. One of the better cups of coffee I've had in Portland in a while, actually. So kudos to Heart for that. 
type of person I would suggest this coffee to. Very clear and straightforward, as I would suggest any of Hearts Ethiopia's to. If you love clean florals, I think that they're on point. I don't think there are many coffee roasters that can do a better job of those super clean florals than Hearts does. So that's why I'm a huge fan of uh, their Ethiopia's in general, as well as this coffee right here, even if it wasn't necessarily the floral that I was specifically looking for. I think I'll leave this review at that. If you've by chance had an opportunity to try this coffee or any of Hearts coffees, would love to know your thoughts and impressions of them as well. If you want me to maybe finally review a bag of Hearts coffee, I mean, I'm not opposed to the idea. I probably should soon. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, give the video a like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Well, this right here has been a review of the Orca Sakaro Wash Process Ethiopia from Heart Coffee Roasters. Thank you for watching.